Hello everyone, and welcome back to Siberia 3, this time for part 7. We're standing outside Steiner's, about to... There you go, Kate's actually really cold, she's freezing. We're about to go back to the tavern to get some heat, some warmth, and, of course, to speak to Captain Oboe, because I think we're about to, uh, ask him to use his ship so we can get the Ukles over to, uh, to Baranor, I believe. Right, uh, hi there. Lost your way, pretty girl? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I haven't been this way yet. I'll get back to you, I guess. Presumably this is another way back to the tavern. I... Bloody glitches and lag and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think we've sort of gone in a big circle, so, yeah. Ooh, do I, do I recognize that? I might. I think I recognize that car, actually. Yeah, I... Th <laughs> okay, yeah. Last time, we must have gone the very long-winded way to get to Steiner's, because, yeah. Down here to the left, there's the tavern. Fantastic. I assume this is where Captain Obo still is. He sort of tucked himself in the corner last time. Uh, I guess let's see if he's still there. Oh, you can see Sarah's back to work. There he is. Oh, I didn't see this last time. That shape there in the water. Ah. What is it? Oh, is this the uh, the demon that he was talking about? Perhaps. Hmm. Well. Let's talk to him. Captain Obo? What do you want? What do I want? Well, many things, but first on the agenda is to... Ooh. What Let's... do you want? He could make a good ventriloquist. Let's hedge. May I sit down for a second? Go ahead. Well, that's our first victory. Well... I'm sorry to impose, but I actually really... You know, you kind of remind me of someone. The wife of the quartermaster that served on board the Crystal after the war. Was she called Lara Croft? Do you realize? He got married to the first cousin of the wife of a machinist. Fancy that. Uh, okay. <gasps> That's all really interesting, but what I wanted to ask... <laughs> That's a really great story, really. <laughs> because did you know so there! So the guy answers, <laughs> I don't know nothing, Captain. Turns out he was hiding in the broom closet. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sure. Irina, the wife of the quartermaster. Her name was Irina Malevna. Right. Crazy how much you look like her. Oh, gee. It's getting late. I have to go. You can finish telling me the story another time, Captain Obo. Really? I've just given up? <laughs> Fuck the Yukus, I guess? The lake is haunted by a demon. Right. That one. It's watching me. Waiting. I can feel it. Okay, well, obviously that is not going to work. Uh, okay, hang on. There's, there's Sarah. Any tips? Is everything okay, Kate? Not really. Not really. I'd like to ask Captain Obo if the Yukul Caravan can go on board his boat to cross over to Baranor. But I can't get a straight answer. He's completely sloshed. I'm sorry, miss, but I really think you're wasting your time. He's getting drunk again to forget his crimes, like he always does. To forget he wasn't brave the way a captain should be. Can you believe it? In Baranor, he just picked up and abandoned his passengers. And I know, he'll never want to see that cursed place again. I'm not sure that's true, Vlad. Even if he does drink a lot, the captain's a pretty good guy. Say the right thing, and you may be able to convince him. Right. If I'm ever lucky enough to find him sober, even for a moment, mm. I need that drunkard to listen to me. And what's the right Maybe thing I to can say? I'll help you with that. I'll make him one of my famous small restoratives. After that, he'll want to sleep for three days, but at least his mind will be clear. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much, both of you. Don't mention it. The way the Yukals are treated here is an absolute disgrace. So if we can help out. Great. Uh well let's see. Let's let's talk about the crystal. Has Captain Obo taken the crystal out of port since leaving Baranor? He's been far too drunk ever since then for that. Mm. And anyway, the port's been closed since the tragedy of Baranor twenty years ago. Do you think the crystal is still in sailing condition after all this time? I'm sure there'll be a few repairs to do, but Obo oh, really? never stopped keeping it in shape, you know. He loves his boat, despite everything. 
Okay, well that's good to know. That's probably how we're going to do it then. Uh, the captain's flight? Do you know why Captain Obo fled Baranor? He must have been completely traumatized by what he saw there. The catastrophe, the victims, and then the radiation. He unloaded the automatons on the beach, but he didn't expect they'd bring the survivors back right then. He just cracked, completely snapped. Full astern and goodbye all. Can you even imagine? Afterwards, he came up with that story of a sea monster appearing and attacking his boat. Yes, the old legend of the monster of the lake. Convenient, isn't it? I don't think it's just a story. Who knows what became of the victims and automatons the captain abandoned? No, everybody hates the captain for that. But nobody volunteered to take the helm of the crystal in his place to pick up the survivors. Yeah, if right. there are any left in Baranur, they're all dead now, that's for sure. Grandfather says that the automatons would have broken down really quickly with nobody to maintain them. Go see the captain. Sarah will bring you the restorative when it's ready. Okay. So, what, this is This is going to be try number two, I suppose. Here we go. Perhaps I'll have better luck. Ah. That's it, is it? That's the rest. <laughs> Let's just go through someone. That's the restorative. Alright. Let's see how it works. Take this, Captain. This one's on the house. And not poisoned. I swear. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My god! <laughs> this piss water on battens the hatches, swabs the deck, and opens the portholes. Well, I assume that's good. Hello. Miss My name is Kate Walker, Captain Obo. We met each other earlier. To what do I owe the honor of your presence at the table of the regrettably famous Captain Obo? Ah, now he's a bit more sober. Brilliant. Uh, well, let's try and coax him. I this is good news, Captain. You're back at the starting block again. You have a new beginning, a new dawn. <laughs> now that's a good show of spirit, Miss Walker. What'll you be having now? It's my round. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've only got the one restorative. Mm, Valsenborn needs you. I'd rather you listen to me. You're my only hope of finding a solution to my problem. <laughs> Do tell me about it, please, miss. Because the Yukuls and their ostriches are stuck here in Valsumbur, it's causing a serious problem among the people in your community. Plus, the nomads have to continue their great journey. Only you, Captain Obo, can defuse the situation by taking them on board the crystal. You're very wrong, Miss Walker. Oh, no. Everybody will tell you that I'm incapable of giving a hand to anyone. Well, screw them. <laughs> yeah, idiots can say what they want. There you go. It's true, people are quick to judge. But they're not the ones who went to Baranor like you did. They can't teach you anything about being brave. Right. Maybe. So yeah. tell me, where do you actually want to go then, Miss? I think I'm actually starting to sway him. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to like it. You won't like this. Stop going easy on me, would you? Where do you actually want to go, Miss Walker? We're going to Baranor. That's where the migration is taking the Yukuls. Are you kidding? Baranor? In 20 years, nobody has landed. Nobody's even set foot there. Hmm. I saw the hellish red eyes of the monster of the lake. Beast as big and long as my boat. <laughs> Ask your Yukul friends what they think about it. They call it the Kilak. Kilak. The evil spirit of the lake. The devil guarding the doorway to hell. Hmm. Maybe I can. Maybe I can go back to the to the camp. Uh, let's play on his pride. In that case, I'll buy the crystal. Right. What makes you think she's up for sale? You've left her in the port to rot. She's completely run down. You haven't the money to keep her ship shape. I have money, and I need that ferry. <laughs> she's a ferry, not a liner. <laughs> and the girl wants to take the helm of the crystal. Now she I said ferry. Everything. I know that if the proud crystal had an equally proud commander at her helm... Things would go better. But as you don't want to go on a voyage. <laughs> Come on. You know you want to. All right, all right. You can get your gang of little savages and board the crystal. I'll take you. Oh, thank you, Captain. Really, with all my heart. And thank you on behalf of the Yukels. Oh, but be careful now, Captain Girl. You're not there yet. There are two conditions. 
And they are negotiable. Oh, here First, we go. We stop by Narodot. It's a little town just a bit south of Baranoi. That will mean we avoid the most radioactive zones, but it won't actually take you too far off your path. Okay. And second, we also sail by day. I'm not going to finish up on the lake monster's plate. And it sleeps during the day. The beast is usually a bit of a night owl, anyway. Sounds good to me. I accept. Right. Captain Obo. Perfect. In that case, all hands on deck now, sailor. Because we've got work to do before we can hoist the anchor. Right. Cool. It worked. Come on, Kate. You hurry off and meet with the captain before he changes his mind. I'll go tell Grandfather to join you on board the Crystal with Kirk. Thank you, Sarah. Right, right, yeah. Because he's still working on the leg in his workshop. Uh, okay. Okay, well, sounds like it's the perfect opportunity to have a look at that boat that I passed by last time. <laughs> Is that guy dead? Hang on. Oh, no, he's still snoring. Okay, he's still alive. No need to call the emergency services quite yet. Uh, I think it's this way, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's, uh, it's a big ship. But then I suppose there are quite a few Yukals and a lot of snow ostriches and Yuki and uh, all the stuff they bring with them. Sorry the webcam wasn't working last time, by the way. I think the webcam crashed halfway through recording and I couldn't get a usable video file, so yeah. Hope you didn't mind. Didn't change too much. So, this is the crystal. And where do we start? Okay. Is this the bow, or... I, I don't know if this is the front or the back, to be perfectly honest. Let's just have a little look around. Uh, okay. There's a light. I'm just looking for things I can, uh, I can use, I can manipulate right now. Doesn't look like the captain's up here. So, right, that's fine. I think it's quite nice that the game sort of gives you a courtesy skip when you're going up and down stairs sometimes. Because, you know, it can be kind of awkward. It can take a long time. Anyway, I think that was the stern of the ship, not the bow. So we're at the back. Can we use this? I know there's a red light and everything, but yes, yes we can. Okay, we're going inside. All right. It's kind of weird, isn't it? When there's nothing here. What's that on the chair? I don't know what that is, actually. It looks like... It might be a bag, maybe? A handbag? Hmm. Got some, uh... Oh, we got some stairs. One going up, one going down. Okay. I'm just looking for the captain. He did say he was on the ship, right? <laughs> this is probably why the game tries to skip out the going up and going down of stairs, because it just looks so weird. It's animated so strangely. It looks like it needs repairs. Right. Too bad. Okay... Let's keep going. Oh, well, it looks okay now. Ah, there you go. I thought it looked promising. All right, Captain. How are the preparations going? There's quite a bit of work to do before we can hoist the anchor, Miss Kate. Right. Yes, you uh, you mentioned. Um, can I help? Maybe I can help you out with something. Of course I can. Well, the coal needs to be stocked up. As for myself, I'll look after getting the water tanks ready to be filled. Take this. It's the code you need for entering the hangar where the coal is kept. You actually need it to use the crane to load the coal onto the crystal. Don't forget to open the storage hatchway first. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. How do I open the hatchway to the coal storage on the crystal? Just turn the wheel on the ship's bridge, sailor. Right. Uh, uh, and the hangar? What do I need to do in the hangar? Where is the hangar? That's where you'll find all the coal you need for the crystal. Yeah, the I know container that. container should just about be enough. And don't forget to use the entry code for the crane that I just gave you. No problem. What do I need the crane for? No, come on, Kate. This is for loading all the coal you get from the hangar onto the ship. Yep. Use the code I gave you so that you can access the control post. Okay. I'll take care of that, Captain. We need to set sail as soon as possible, so better hurry up. Well, let's get to work then. There is a lot to do. So, here we are. What was that? 05? I think it was 0509. Uh, let's see. Let's just take a look at it. Oh. In the journal? It's in the journal, yeah. 0509. 10509. Where's the one? One? Okay. Is that an error? Or is that an error? Presumably that's it. And that one just sort of snuck in there. Yeah, okay. 
0509 or 10509, whichever. Okay, so he mentioned uh, a wheel on the bridge. Presumably not this one. <laughs> but anyway, that wasn't the stern. That is the bow of the ship. Huh. Turn the wheel on the bridge to open up the crystal's coal storage tank. Right. Well, I... Maybe it's down here? This is the bridge, isn't it? Might not be. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, hang on, what's this? Well, it's not a wheel. It's... it's a book. I'll just take a peek. Uh, Nobody will ever know. We'll just take a peek. She says, as she steals Captain Obo's logbook. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, again, in the journal. Alright, let's take a look. Fyodor Ivanovich Obo, proud commander of the Crystal. Okay, how much have we got in here? What's that? I'm a man, and because I err, uh, I am a man. Dostoevsky. Great. Alright, 1989, it looks like. Oh, brilliant. Um, I will get through this, but I'll get through this in between videos. So, um, feel free to pause the video and read this yourself. I'll do this a little bit later on, alright? Next page. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have received a few comments saying that I, I'm not really taking in all the lore and everything. And I am. Trust me, I am. Just maybe not during the videos. I'm trying to get through as much of the game as I possibly can while going back over this sort of information. I know that this week, especially, my uh, recording time is very limited, so I want to get as much done as possible. That's why. All right. Where did that damn jacket get to? And it looks like that is the end of the logbook. Okay. Alright, well that, that still doesn't really help us out with the wheel on the bridge. Uh, anything back here? Nope, that's it broken. Looks like it needs repairs. Okay. Too bad. Hmm. Fair enough. There wasn't anything up there, was it? Right, well, let's... Let's go back down. Let's see. Oh, I see. So I can go down on either side. Well, he mentioned the crane, and that's just outside. So, you know, presumably it's not going to come in through the side of the ship. It's going to be on top. So, let's go outside. Let's just maybe go around. Oh, yeah, we see some lifeboats over there, just in case. We might be needing them. Let's go back here. Just sort of having a look around right now. All right. Oh, what's this? Nobody. Nobody yet. But it looks like the seating arrangements are not going to be a problem. I don't really know how many Yukals we're going to bring along, but we should have room. Right. Um. Hmm. Well, let's go around the other side. Maybe, you know that area that I first went to? Right up there, that sort of high area? Maybe that's where he meant? Hang on, what's that? What is that there? Uh, looks like some sort of tool, but I can't pick it up. Never mind. Yeah, it looks like a crowbar or something with a nice red handle. Want to go back in there? No, I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Is this what he meant? I couldn't do this before. I walked past this and this didn't come up. He, this isn't the bridge though. This is the deck, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Keep spinning. That's it. Okay. Alright, so that's where the coal's going to go. That, oh, okay, I've just saved, so that's good. Um, this hangar. Right, well, the hangar's obviously not on the ship, so let's leave. Uh, where could it be? Well, presumably it's going to be... Ah, uh, you know, when we came into this area to begin with, when we came into Valsenbor, I went right to enter this area. Maybe I should go left towards the lighthouse. Or, actually, you know what? Is this it? No? Yes, yes, okay. And what is that? Oh, right, it's a keypad for the code, right, yeah. Yeah, you can't use things unless you know you need to use things, which is kind of annoying. So what was it, 0509? 0509? Yeah. Yeah, the one just snuck in. <laughs> the game is, like, actively trying to confuse me. And what's this? A door to another wall? Oh, I see. Alright. 
I guess let's just sort of follow the tracks, right? Oh yeah, hang on. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Right. Oh, bloody hell, invisible barriers everywhere. Maneuvering the character is such a such a chore in this game. Have we got to right, we've got to use this. So let's move it that way. Uh oh right, yeah. Probably shouldn't have messed with that lever actually. Let's go uh redo that. If I can make it back there. Yeah, okay, hang on. So Yeah, we want to push it forward, probably up until the, the very end. Well, before we do that, let's just take a look around, shall we? What have we got here? Where Whereabouts is the coal, exactly? I'm seeing quite a lot of these things on both sides. Maybe that's where the coal comes from? Actually, what is that? Oh! Oh, okay! <laughs> it's like Brum, or something like that. Alrighty then. Doesn't seem like I can really use anything here. Well, let's hope the one that I pushed doesn't end up like that. <laughs> How did that even happen? <laughs> let's go drag this out. And maybe I can figure something out. I'm not sure. Okay, so forward. That's it. Okay, let's just go right to the very end. Okay. Okay. Now, can I... Aha, hang on, here we go. Ah, oh, I see. Now I can interact with it. Or can I? Uh, no. Hang on, I do see... I think I see a button over there. Let me just use my mouse. No, that's not even working. Right, I guess I'm missing something. Anything over here? Oh, hang on. Hey, yeah, yeah, we do actually have something over here. Oh, the shoot, of course. Right, I thought... For some reason, I thought that was going to sort of provide the shoot for me. But yeah, that actually does make quite a lot of sense. Anything back here? No, I don't think so. What about over here? Somewhere in the corner. Nothing? No? Alright. Yeah, maybe that's why I couldn't use it. Anything over there? Oh, there is actually something over here. What is this? Got myself a... Got myself a pipe? Wait, hang on. I'm just walking around holding this? It's not actually a proper item. This is kind of weird. Is this some sort of weapon? I don't know. Hang on. Uh, right. Is that some sort of test? It might be. That's actually more like it. Okay, right, I think I was right in that. It's a different sound, so... Uh, right, so let's look at it, I guess? Can I...? Oh, I see, yeah, it doesn't really give you a hint that you can use something, but you can use something here. I get it, right, okay, yeah. I'm getting there. Oh, damn. <laughs> this game's kind of making me feel dumb. <laughs> and now, now the button works. Look at all of that. Okay. Okay, was that it? Let's see. That looks pretty full. Didn't he say that it was only, like, one that was needed? I don't know, maybe I could top this up with, uh, with another one. Let's, um, let's go right to the very end. Oh no, no, I actually can't... can't hit that. What's this? Alright. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I see. Maybe. Right. Okay. I have no idea what these buttons do. What's that down there? That label? Not instructions. No, I can't even use it, so let's go. No? It's on the track, same as the minecart. Presumably this is how we, you know, like, get it out of here? Okay. 
it some sort of combination? The top button seems to struggle a little bit, honestly. Let's, let's just get off this. Uh, maybe I should go and ask the captain, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dunno. Right, okay, so let's let's see. <laughs> of course. Dark. Of course, right. Well, that explains why we need to get that up and running to push it out. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's just give it another go. It might be some combination of the buttons. Well, let's try bottom to top. Don't know if I tried this last time. No, does it matter which sort of combination it's in? The top one is always, always wrong. I guess that would be backwards, and that would be forwards, right? Ah, right, okay. I, you know what, when I'm confused, I should just press LB and get my inventory out, because it's probably going to help me out. Okay, souvenir Not of Oscar? Chance. Not a chance. The knife. The knife! Okay, right, we're going to, what? Ah, we're going to try and lever the button out, I think. There you go. Right, there you go. Right, now maybe we can sort of reset it or something. Yeah? All right, let's try it. Oh! Oh, I see! Oh, now that's working. What about the other two? Okay, they still don't light up. Does it work? Ah, there we go, right. Got there eventually. Ah, oh, no I didn't. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right, back we go. <laughs> back we go. I forgot some fundamental little bit. Oh well, I'm pleased that I got it working though. How's that working? How did it drag it back? I can understand pushing it, but how did it drag it back? Magnets maybe? I don't know. Anyway, yes. So we've still got that, like, steel pipe. Are we going to drop that at some point? Is that just for in the hangar, or is that, like, an item now? I don't know. There we are. Okay, silly me. Silly me. Let's try that again. Okay, is it still on? Looks like it. There you go. It's always a good sign when it saves. Nicely done. Oh, I see. Right, it's like a little forklift. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we're only like half done, because now we need to, I guess, operate the crane to get the coal onto the crystal. My oh my oh my. Well, I've already opened the hatch, so that's done. That's great. Right, so here we go. Have I still got the stick? No, I've actually dropped the stick, so yeah, that was just for the hanger. How do we even... Right, I <laughs> I think I see a ladder. Oh. All right, okay. So it's for both of them, is it? Zero five... Zero nine? Yep. Uh, it was a ladder, and now it's lowered. There you go. All right. It's a long way up. <laughs> I don't think that would be the most comfortable journey up the ladder for me, but there you go. Right. This looks complicated, honestly. Let's see. I guess let's start on the left and, and work right and see what happens. Okay, that doesn't work. That does. Okay, hang on. Uh, so this monitor we're looking at? Oh, I see. Several cameras all around Valsenbor, I guess. Right. So that goes left, that goes right, I guess. Yep, okay, fine. I, uh, I get that. I guess we want to have a look at that, maybe? Uh, what does this do? Oh, it's going to destroy something. Oh, no, no, it's not. Right. Well, I'll, I'll need to do that when I'm turned 90 degrees. What does this one do? 
variety then. Just makes the hook turn a little bit. That'll probably be useful when I've, I've picked something up. And this? Oh, I see. Nope, nope, other way. <laughs> I'm really, I'm going to destroy something. Let's go this way. I'm going to knock some chimneys off or something. Nope, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, okay, so let's, let's see. Is that right? It looks like it's kind of lined up. Let's try this again. Yeah? Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Maybe we need to move back, don't we? So... That's it. Now, try it again. There you go. <laughs> okay, hopefully this is a bit more reliable than the claw games you see in amusement parks and arcades and stuff. Uh, right. So, we need to swing it round, don't we? That's it. Okay, let's get a bit of view, I guess. Uh, and then let's move to the right. Okay, and again. No? Okay, well, hang on. Oh, really? Right, I actually can't use that top button. No point wasting the coal by emptying it here. Yeah, it's not quite lined up, is it? Uh, okay. Just a little bit over there? No. No, it's locked at 90 degree angles, it seems. Uh, alright. No. Nope. I think I was probably on the right one, actually. What does this lever do? I haven't actually messed with this yet. Can it go midway? Oh, shit. Oh, it spins it? How does that work? Uh, right. Hang on. Let's move it again. No, let's let's twist it round. Wait, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, it spins the platforms at the at the bottom. That makes sense. Okay, hang on. Right, so hang on. Uh, move left. No, shit, not left, not left. Go to the right. right. I'm getting this now. Yeah, move this over like that. And then we should be able to go from platform to platform. Get a little bit closer. That's it. Uh, I guess do it again. Okay, so we're closer. How lined up are we now? Let's have a look. This is actually kind of fun, this puzzle. More fun than actually getting the coal. Alright, let's spin around. So it's like that. Right, <laughs> that's dangerously close to the boat. We're still a little bit off course, I think, so... That looks about right. Yes! Yes! Great! Oh, and it twists it for me as well. And tilts it. Nice one. <laughs> and abandons it, apparently. Okay. Apparently you did a very good job loading all the coal, Kate. <laughs> it took me way too long, though. Oh, there was... Oh. Right. Everything's ready. So oh, this is the water. The water tank. Now we need to connect the water tower to the crystal. Then climb up there to manually activate the water flow mechanism. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be me, isn't it? Oh, let me guess. You're counting on me? <laughs> when you're finished, come and see me on board. There's still a lot to do before we ship shape. Okay. Oh, I see. So the coal, that's already closed itself down. Right, another new addition. Okay. Oh, I see. So we have to put the nozzle in there. Oh, no. Not like that. No. Oh, God. Maybe I should go back to the mouse. Or is it this? Oh, make it a little bigger so it can actually fit in there. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right, and lock it in position. Right. Okay, yeah, another save. Another indication that I'm doing the right thing. So we can't interact with this anymore, I guess. Yep, now we probably have to climb the water tower. We have to climb another ladder. Yeah, I see the ladder over there on the uh, on the sort of right side of it. There you go. <laughs> All 
Alrighty then. Yeah, that's all connected. Hopefully. Nice. Nice. So that's the coal sorted, the water sorted. Anything else? You know, apart from getting the yukles and the snow ostriches and everything on board. Okay, we're done. I guess. Let's speak with Captain Obo. I'm sure if there's anything left for me to do, he'll tell me about it. Is he here? Ah, I took yes, care he is. Of the water, Captain. Everything went smoothly. Is everything okay? No. The ignition key for the crystal. Ah. I can't find it anywhere. Without it, we can't even start. Really? A little key stopping us? Calm down. Come on, just relax. The key has to be around here somewhere. Good lord. Now I remember. Twenty years ago, when I got back from Baranor without the automatons, everybody was really very hard on me, you know. Captain, I don't really see what you... So I spent the whole night in the tavern. You should oh, it's in there the somewhere? I was in when I got back to the Bridge of the Crystal and... And? And then I threw the crystal's ignition key into the water. I oh. swore I'd never set sail on the cursed waters of the lake again. I'll just go get my scuba suit. No? Uh... So that's it? The ignition key is lost forever? Yeah. I'm afraid so. I'm really sorry, Kate, but we're stuck. I've made a complete mess of everything again. Again. We can always make another key or something, right? A yeah, a duplicate key. There has oh, to Steiner's be a model. For the key. I don't know. At any rate, when Steiner finished building the crystal, he only actually gave me the one. Well, uh, sounds like we might be um, asking him about it. I saw a model of the crystal at Simon Steiner's. Is he the one who designed the ship? Yes, of course. Maybe he could be of some help then. Maybe. Who knows? Well, let's hope so. Don't be so hard on yourself, Captain. I'll find a solution to the key problem. If you say so. No, I don't say so. I say so. Uh, right. Okay. This is where I'm going to end at Siberia 3, Part 7. Thank you very much for watching. I suppose next time in Part 8, we'll, uh, we'll go back into Valsambor and we'll head back to Steiner's workshop, hoping that he can either uh, give us another key or make another key. See you then. Ooh. What Let's... do you want? He could make a good ventriloquist. Let's hedge. That's it, is it? That's the restaurant. <laughs> Let's just go through someone. I have money, and I need that fairy. She's a fairy, not a liner. <laughs> and the girl wants to take the helm of the crystal. Now she I said fairy. Everything. It's in the journal, yeah. 0509. 10509. Where's the one? Yeah. Yeah, the one just snuck in. <laughs> the game is, like, actively trying to confuse me. Ah, there we go. Right. Got there eventually. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Let's go this way. I'm going to knock some chimneys off or something. And tilts it. Nice one. <laughs> and abandons it, apparently. 